Hello everyone, this is Rob. I've created a short video broken into sections explaining the basics of the Lancer class in Terra. All this information is from the series of closed betas, so feel free to go ahead and show your friends. And we're going to go through and start with the class mechanics. Combo attack. It's instant attack. Strike one or more targets in front of you and gain MP with each hit. Successive strikes do more damage up to three hits, with the third hit dealing substantially more. By default, the combo attack is bound to your left mouse key. This is where you want to keep it. Unlike in other MMOs, you can't actually tab target the monsters in this game. You'll actually have to face them, and the combo attack will be your primary attack. This is the second segment of this video. This section covers gap closing abilities. They are Onslaught and Charging Lunge. Onslaught. This is an instant cast ability that has you rush a short distance to your foe and lunge repeatedly. In this state, you are less likely to be knocked down or immobilized, and you take only half damage. With this ability, you can close a gap to your target and continue to deal damage, generate threat, and mitigate damage. The next ability is Charging Lunge. This is also an instant cast ability. The ability description states that you charge a short distance and impale your target. This short distance is about 15 meters. It is important to note that since you do not lock on to targets in this game, you can use Charging Lunge to close the distance to your enemy and come up short. There's nothing worse than charging an enemy in combat and having to creep the last 10 meters to get to them. In this section of the video, we're going to cover crowd control abilities. At level 22, the Lancer has the following abilities to snare. Shield Bash and Shield Barrage. At higher levels, the Lancer has Leash. This is a ranged attack on par with Rift Sergeant's Order, or Death Grip for the Death Knight in WoW. To break a knockdown, the Lancer has Retaliate. At lower levels, there's not a lot of CC available to the Lancer. The first ability is Shield Bash. Shield Bash, like most Lancer skills, is an instant cast ability that is a 25 second cooldown. Shield Bash briefly stuns your target. The second ability that can stun your target is Shield Barrage. The catch is that it doesn't always immobilize your target. Shield Barrage has an instant cast with a 4 second cooldown. This skill causes the Lancer to move forward, attacking your target with your shield. This attack will repeat up to two hits, and the last hit may briefly stun your target. While not a crowd control ability, there is a quick follow-up attack to Shield Bash and Shield Barrage. Spring Attack. This attack allows you to leap to your foe and strike a hard blow. This skill activates faster if you use it as a follow-up to Shield Bash and Shield Barrage, and that's why it's effective. It also activates faster after three consecutive combo attacks. This is a great skill to get in some extra damage quickly after you've stunned your target. This is also on a 4 second cooldown and works well on skill chains, and is very practical as a PvP ability. The Lancer class has one CC break to start, and that is Retaliate. This is a reactive ability and requires that the Lancer be knocked down. This is an instant cast with a 15 second cooldown. Not only does this ability return you to your feet, but it also attacks your target at the same time. I think it is worth noting that the Amon has a racial ability called Last Amon Standing that improves their resistance to stuns and immobilizing effects for 30 seconds, but it's on a one hour cooldown. While not a Lancer ability, I think it's fair to say that we can expect to see a lot of Amon Lancers. On a side note, the boss in this video is Karasha. You fight Karasha in the Dark Revelations quest at the end of Dawn Island. I saw a lot of people get stuck looking for groups on this quest. As you can see, he is easily solvable and you were even given the help of a minion. Falling somewhere in between a crowd control ability and a gap closer is Leash. This allows you to pull a mob towards you from range, so you can reposition the mob to fight it in either a better spot or to pull it out of the pack. This can't be used on huge monsters. Leash is an instant cast ability with an 18 meter range. It also has a 40 second cooldown. This is the final section covering closed beta Lancer abilities. In this section, we will go over the Lancer's defensive capabilities. First, there's Stand Fast. Stand Fast is a Lancer's blocking ability. This blocks frontal attacks with your shield. The amount of damage that you reduce depends on your gear. This ability will reduce damage as long as you hold down the skill button. Allies located behind the Lancer will also receive damage reduction. This is not only an essential ability in PvE, this will also be a key ability in PvP to protect your allies. If you remember, you have your combo attack bound to your left mouse button. You'll want to keep this stand fast bound to your right mouse button. Challenging Shout. This is the Lancer's taunt, or aggression generated ability. 
This ability draws the attention of the enemies within 10 meters, increasing their aggro towards you. This is an area of effect taunt. It is an instant ability with a 10 second cooldown. Guardian Shout. This ability adds 91% to the endurance of your group mates within 20 meters for 30 seconds. However, it does not apply to you. This effect ends if you are knocked down. This ability adds to the realism of playing a character that has a shield. He protects those that are around him with his shield. If he's on the ground, he really isn't blocking for you, so it only makes sense that the ability cancels out. This is an instant cast ability with a 5 minute cooldown. Another very important defensive ability the Lancer has is Shield Counter. Shield Counter allows Lancers to attack their target upon successfully blocking with the Stand Fast skill. This allows Lancers to do a small amount of damage, but more importantly, it helps them generate additional aggro against their target. The last ability is Second Wind. This is also an instant cast ability. This is typically referred to as a Flash Heal. This has a 1 minute cooldown. At level 22, Second Wind only heals for a little over 1,000 hit points, which equals about one-sixth of your total health. This heals for very little health overall, but it can come in handy while farming to reduce your downtime. That covers the closed beta abilities of the Lancer. With Challenging Shout set at a 10 second cooldown, you can almost spam this and use Stand Fast and be a successful tank, and not have to worry too much about your mana regeneration. However, as mobs become tougher, you will want to ensure that you are using Shield Counter to increase their aggro towards you. A stray bam can kill your healer in a hurry. Remember, it is your job to take the big hits and mitigate the damage. Let the DPS worry about killing the mob. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter, at Graculin. Also, please feel free to leave comments and questions in the space below. Thanks for watching.